Hey everybody, this is Eli with Premiere on Script, and in this movie, I want to talk about something that's a little bittersweet. In all the previous movies I've done on this channel, we've always been developing code in Adobe's Extend Script Toolkit. But, you know, it's no secret that this toolkit is outdated and laggy, and it was, you know, never really a super great uh, user experience uh, to develop our scripts or extensions. That's not to say we aren't going to miss it, but in this week we're going to talk about what Adobe has come out with in order for us to have a better experience when developing extensions. So you can see in this blog post right here, I'll put the link in the description, that on February 22nd, the Extend Script debugger for Visual Studio Code uh, was publicly released. And what this means is that now that we're moving away from Extend Script Toolkit, we have to learn a new program, and that program is Visual Studio Code. Uh, now, for some of you more experienced developers, you may have experience with this. Um, it's a pretty popular uh, development environment. For me, I had not had any experience with this, and so I had to go through the whole process of, of learning what it was all about and how to get the Extend Script debugger to run in it. So I want to walk you through that right now. So first you need to do is go and download uh, whatever edition of Visual, Visual Studio Code you need, whether it's Mac or Windows. And... When you download it and install it, it'll come up and it'll look something along the lines of this with this bar over here, which is your Files tab. Now, something that's different from Extend Script Toolkit with this is that you're going to load directories or folders rather than uh, loading just an individual script. So the way we'll do that is we'll come over and I have this um, little sample short functions folder. I'll add that and we can see that I have a bunch of JSX script files in there. I'm going to double click on this one, and it is uh, something that we've seen before. This is from a couple uh, weeks ago when I posted the Premiere Pro 2019 new scripting features movie. Now you can preview all these over on your sidebar, but if you click on one and then double click it, you'll see that the text gets uh, non-italicized up here, and that means it's like loaded in here um, no matter what. You'll see it up there. Okay, so now let's get on to... Uh, how we're going to run scripts in Adobe Premiere. So we need to go out and we need to get this Extend Script Debugger plugin. So we'll come down to the last tab down over here, which is your Extensions tab. And you'll see the extensions that you have enabled and already installed. They'll have some recommended. I'm going to come in here and type in Extend Script. And we'll see there's one right here. You don't want this one. You want this is the officially supported Adobe uh, Debugger extension or plugin. So we'll click on that and we'll come over to install and it'll go pretty quick. Uh, it's not a super big thing to download. And then in order to get this to start running, we're going to hit the reload button. Now, once that's reloaded, we can come up back to our file directory, but it's not like Extend Script, right? There's no place, there's no green button for us to run this, um, this code in. So where is that? Well, that's under the fourth tab, the debug tab down here. And what you do is you load your script into this little drop down right here. But first we have to create that. And now that we have the extend script debugger uh, loaded in our extensions panel, we can come back to the debugger, hit this little cog over here, and then select environment. We're going to put extend script debug. And what that's going to do is create this launch.json file in our directory and this is why it's important that you're loading a directory so that we can put this launch file in there and what this is going to do is just include some json information on how um, visual studio needs to run your code so if we come back to the debug tab we'll see this and right now it just says ask for script name so what that means is when we're over here in our script i've added this little alert um, to the top of this script um, when we want to run this what we're going to have to do is, oh, and I totally forgot a huge part. Um, just like in Extend Script Toolkit, where we have to choose what application we want to use, we have to do the same thing in Visual Studio Code. So you can get to this by doing Control-Shift-A or Command-Shift-A on a Mac. Then you'll see the full list of applications that Visual Studio is recognizing on your computer for this Extend Script debugger to run in. And I'm going to choose Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. Now that that's loaded, I can then come over here. And I can press this run button and it's going to ask you what script you want to run. So from here, I could choose any of these um, scripts that I have in here. But what really sucks about it is every time I'm going to have to type that in. And that's not something that I'm 
willing to do, especially for a JSX file named Premiere Pro 2019 new scripting features. So we're going to go into the launch.json file and modify it a little bit to make this easier. I'm going to come into these brackets right here under the configurations area. I'm going to copy this, go down and paste it. Now right here we see the name. We can change this to something like um, whatever your script name is. So we'll call this 2019 new features. And then we will come down under here. We can see that it's targeting the workspace folder. And we'll delete all of this stuff after that slash. And then enter in that um, script name. So we'll go PR Pro 2019 new scripting features dot JSX. Save that. And now when we come back to the debug tab, I can come up to this drop down and select this. And now it will run my code. We can pop over to Premiere. We'll see it did the alert and everything's working great. Now, what's really great about them using this plugin for Visual Studio Code, while there's a little bit more setup because you have to add to the uh, launch file what script you're using, what's really great is now we have the benefit of, one, a super fast and efficient, reliable text editor. We have all these other extensions. There's like thousands of extensions that are developed for Visual Studio Code that we can use. And on top of that, we also have Git integration, which um, for all of you who are, who are editors first and not programmers, I was new to Git as well, but Git is a version control system that allows you to save your code uh, like up on the cloud. I currently use um, Bitbucket because I can use this for free. And here's a VS Code example. I have all these JSX files that you're seeing in Visual Studio Code. What Visual Studio allows you to do is link to that Bitbucket account so that I can then, once I do some changes, so say I come over to this code and I load this this one, and I want this to not say hi there, but welcome, and save that, I can come over here to this Git tab, and then you'll see the two items that I've changed since the last time that I kind of saved or backed up this file. I can go in here, hit this plus button, and then add in a note about my changes. So I'll say um, changed to welcome added launch file. I'll hit control enter to commit those changes. And then I'll hit control shift P and go git dot push to push that up to my bit bucket. And now when I come over to my bit bucket, and reload it. We will see that I have this new VS Code folder which has the launch file in it and we have the changes to the Premiere Pro 2019 new scripting feature script. Then I can access this from wherever I need to. Any systems that I have, Mac, PC, I can pull down this stuff and then have it in my Visual Studio code environment. So this is really great. Uh, that was a super brief introduction to Git. You actually have to go out and download it and set it up. Um, but I would highly recommend looking into that if you're going to be doing this more often. I have had code deleted in the past and it is the most unfun thing that can happen when you're you know, writing these scripts for Premiere. So I hope that was helpful in just introducing you to this new program and new way of developing. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you like any plugins or other Visual Studio Code tips that I don't know because I'm pretty new to this. And if you guys are interested, I've recently come out with an extension panel of my own, my very first one. I'm excited to give you guys a review on how that process goes somewhere in the future, but it's called the Find and Replace panel. It's available on the Adobe Exchange. It allows you to rapidly rename your media in Premiere, uh, like for on ingest and stuff like that. Really helpful for me. It's one of those things that's just a pain point um, that I hate copy and pasting. So I built it for myself and thought other people might like it. Go on and check it out. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you all next time.